Good morning, Carly Beauty. It's RJ. It is uh, day number two of my trip down the 1983 top set while I'm on vacation. One video a day, uh, doing about a hundred and so cards of the set. Just walking you through the whole set and talking about some people in the set. Some of the things I remember, some of the things I like. Here we go. Um, Chris Well Welsh. Don't know anything about pitcher Chris Welch. Tom Brookins. Don't know anything about Tom Brookins. Len Barker. Len Barker actually pitched a perfect game. I think was it the year before? Was it this the year before? Or uh, yep. Uh, I don't know if it was a uh, right around this. You know, eighty one, two or three, somewhere around there. He pitched a perfect game. One of the few, <laughs> with probably the only notable thing about Len Barker's career. Mickey Hatcher, longtime uh, utility player. Jimmy Smith, don't know anything about Jimmy Smith. George Frazier, don't know anything about George Frazier. Mark Hill, don't know Mark Hill. Leon Durham, uh, if you saw my video before, I was talking about Leon Durham on the Cubs leaders car. Leon Durham famously let a ball go right through the five hole during the uh, 1984 playoffs that uh, contributed. It was one of the many things that group stood to the Padres winning a game they shouldn't have won. But Leon had a good career, and I think he appeared in a couple, at least one baseball movie. I want to say it was either either Little Big League or uh, or some of the other silly movies, maybe Major League. He was in one of those movies as a, a back you know background player. Joe Torre, manager at the Braves at this time, he started his career with the Mets because he ended his ended his playing career in New York with the Mets, and then took over as player manager for a couple of years, and then was just manager. And he began bouncing around to a number of different teams. And here he is with the Braves in 82. That's his 83 card, obviously. Preston Hannon. Hanna was a quality uh, starter reliever. Good pitcher for a number of years. Mike Ramsley, don't know anything about. Here's an example of the checklist cards. Dave Steeb. Dave Steeb, long time, awesome pitcher for the Brewers. Uh, borderline Hall of Famer. Off to the 20 game winner. He um, did pitch finally a no hitter. He was one of those guys who um, <clears throat> was very close to a no hitter many, many times and just couldn't get there. Uh, but he finally did uh, late late 80s or early 90s and took him before he'd do it. So there he is in 83. Ed Ott, a uh, great long time uh, catcher for a number of teams. Famously, I remember most of the Pirates. People always say Ed Ott has the shortest name in baseball. Ed Ott, Todd Cruz. There are so many different people named Cruz uh, back in this day. Jim Barr, longtime pitcher for a number of teams. Hubie Brooks, always loved Hubie Brooks. He looked like one of those go-go guys, like a Ricky Henderson, uh, Ron LaFleur, um, Tim Raines kind of guy. Hubie Brooks, always, uh, you see here, he just got done stealing second or something. Dwight Evans, borderline Hall of Famer, longtime quality guy for the... Uh, the Sox, he was a Sox for his whole, I think his whole life, or the, maybe the very end he jumped to, like the Orioles, I think. But, you know, the Dewey, they called him, and he was a great player. Number of, he's, the high 400s in home runs, so. Willie Aikens, another one of those guys who was on the Royals for many years. Good player. Woody Fryman, Woody Fryman is ancient. That's a guy who needs a, a, a super vet card. Woody Fryman was around since 66. Look at that. Here it is, 83. He was with the Phillies, I remember. Woody Fryman was another guy who was just old all the time. Just like Rick Dempsey. Rick Dempsey played into the early 90s, I think. And here he is. He could have had a super vet card, I thought. He's a starting catcher, backup catcher, whatever. He was the MVP of the 83 World Series for the Orioles as they beat my Phillies. Not a big fan, but now Rick Dempsey was a great Great long-time catcher. Uh, Bruce Berrien, uh, Berrini, I don't know, Berrini. Let's just say Bruce Berrini. Don't know anything about Bruce. Willie Randolph, everybody knows Willie Randolph. Long-time player uh, for a couple different teams, but most notably the Yankees in the, the lean years. I don't think he was on the uh, 70s teams, was he? Nope, he was. Yeah, he was on the the World Series winners in the 70s and when he got there at 81, so... And he was Mets manager when we, <laughs> I feel bad from here. We were the Mets manager during the Phillies years in 2007 and 8 when we uh, came back, came from behind and took the 
pen it away from him. <laughs> so Toby Hara and Rick Sutcliffe were the... Wow, Rick Sutcliffe was on the Indians. You don't think about that because I always think about Rick Sutcliffe on the uh, Cubs the next year. So Mike Caldwell, Joe Patini, and Mark Wagner. Don't know anything about those three guys. Don Sutton, Don Sutton, long time uh, Dodger. It was actually with the Brewers in 82 when they got to the World Series. That's probably one of the reasons they got to the World Series. A little help from Don Sutton. And then his super vet car next door, Rick Leach, longtime quality utility infielder. Dave Roberts, forgettable Philly. Don't know much about him at all. Johnny Ray, uh, good go get him second baseman, in, you, you, utility infielder, one of those uh, great field, no hit kind of guys uh, for the Pirates. Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer. Bruce is one of those guys. I don't know why they wasted the Super Vet card on him. Because he wasn't even in the league 10 years when they, they, they gave him a Super Vet card. It's just ridiculous, frankly. Jay Johnstone, uh, longtime utility outfielder. Jerry Kuzman, longtime pitcher. Great. Jerry Kuzman was around forever, too. Good. He could have a Super Vet card. Look at this. He was in the Mets since the 60s. He was with the Phillies. At one time, I thought he was with the Phillies, Jerry Kuzman. I really thought he was with the Phillies. Maybe it's later on in his career that he appeared with the Phillies. But Jerry Kuzman, long-time guy. Johnny LeMaster, another one of those uh, good field, no-hit uh, shortstops in the middle infielders. Stan Quisenberry, the great submarine pitcher for the Royals. Played for the Cardinals later in the year, but everybody remembers him with the Royals. Billy Martin on the A's. Like I said, Billy Martin was the guy who gave Ricky Henderson a green light. Anytime he wanted to steal, Billy said, go ahead and steal. And that's why Ricky set the record in 82. Steve Bedrosian, Bedrock, his early uh, year card for Steve Bedrosian. He would go on to better years later on, won a Cy Young for the Phillies in 87. Rob Wilfong, a uh, quality utility infielder for a long time. Mike Staten, Stanton. Quality pitcher for a long time. Dave Kingman, winding on his career, he was around for a long time. Uh, one of those guys that could crush the ball at will, but <laughs> didn't do much else and didn't connect too often. Mark Clear. There's the Ripken second-year card. Um, this would have been Ripken. Remember, he has rookie card, a multiplayer, three-person future stars card in 82. His rookie, the one that everybody wants, is his traded solo appearance. This was his next year card, though, the 83. Dave Palmer, longtime quality pitcher. Dan Driesen was around forever. What he was, was the only album with the Reds. He'd been here since 72 was his first. So 73. Dan Driesen was around forever with the Reds. John Pasella, Don't know anything about him. Mark Bruhard. No idea. Uh, Juan Eichenberger. Always remember... Juan Eichenberger, crazy name, uh, Eichenberger, Eichelberger, but he was around for a number of years, I thought. Doug Flynn, don't know nothing about Doug Flynn. Steve Howell was around for many years, a couple different teams. You know, Joe Borger was with Giants this year. Joe jumped around a lot after he left the Reds to a number of different teams. Here he was with the Giants that year. Uh, Bill Lasky. Vern Rule. Vern Rule was a pitching coach. For the Phillies later in his career. There he is as a player, a pitcher for the Astros. Jim Morrison. Uh, just love the name. Jim Morrison. He was around for a while. Jerry Ujder, I guess. I don't know anything about Jerry Ujder. Bo Diaz was around for a couple different with a couple different teams in the 80s. And I mean he was okay. When we got rid of Bob Boone, said Bob Boone to the Angels. Eh, Bo Diaz was eh. He was never great, but he was what we had. Dave Rigetti, longtime pitcher for the uh, Yankees. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer now. Louis Tiat with the Angels. Everybody remembers Louis with the Red Sox, but there he is, Louis, with the Angels by this time. Super vet card for him. He started, what was it? Started in 64. Look at that. There's your Ricky card, Ricky Henderson. Uh, uh, Terry Felton. Don't know anything about Terry Felton or Mike Fishlin. Ed Vandenberg. Don't know much about Ed Vandenberg, Bob Clark, Tim Lawler. Nice Whitey Herzog card. Whitey's in the Hall of Fame as a manager. This is the year after he won the World Series. Terry Leach, Rick Miller, Dan Schatzender. I think eventually Dan was on the Phillies a couple years later, Dan Schatzender. 
Cecil Cooper, quality, longtime player for the Brewers. Loved him. Joe Price, don't know a lot about. Floyd Rayford, don't know a lot about. Harry Spillman, another one of those guys I always saw playing uh, for the Astros or a couple other teams. Quality, just one of those guys who hung around a lot, was uh, able to produce for his teams and stick in the game. Cesar Geronimo, uh, he was the guy, I believe, for the Reds. He was one of the starting guys for the Reds in their, some of their great years. Yep, played for the Astros early on. That was at the Royals. I thought Cesar, oh, the Astros, that's what I'm thinking of. The Astros, too, yeah. Cesar Geronimo. I was watching something like who was the best best players in the eight, in the 70s. And believe it or not, they had Cesar Geronimo as one of the best players in the outfield in the 70s. Uh, that was a, who was it? That was a prime, Major League Baseball Network's prime nine show. Had Cesar Geronimo as an outfielder. Bob Stoddard, Bill Fahey, Jim Eisenreich. Jim Eisenreich. This is a cool card because of his, this is probably his rookie card. Eisenreich was a great uh, contributor to the 93 Phillies. And here he is with the Twins. This would have been before he was diagnosed with Tourette's Syndrome, which is what a condition he suffers from. Um and he was out of baseball in the mid-80s for a couple of years until he got the disease under the condition. I don't call it a disease. I'll call it condition under control. Uh, came back with the Royals and was with the Royals for a number of years before he came over to the Phillies. Kiko Garcia, another one of those great field, no-hit uh, in middle infielders. Marty Bystrom was a rookie in September in 80 for the Phillies when they won the pennant. And contributed like five, went five and zero in September for us. So, Marty Bystrom's a favored Philly. Rod Carew on the Angels, winding down his career, sixty-seven to eighty-three. The Blue Jays uh, leaders, Tabasco Garcia hit three hundred one that year. Dave Steeb, a three twenty-five ERA. Mike Morgan, longtime pitcher for a number of teams. I thought. Uh, Junior Kennedy, don't know about here. Dave Parker, still the Pirates, love to see that. Eventually he'd go on to a number of different teams, but he's still in the Pirates here, love to see that. Ken Oberkfell, I remember. Ken Oberkfell was around for a long time with a number of different teams. Rick Camp of the Braves, he would go on to a couple different teams. He was a quality pitcher, though. Dan Meyer, don't know. Mike Moore, picked for a number of teams. Jack Clark was one of those guys who was a slugger every once in a while. He was like the Dave Kingman kind of a guy, Jack Clark was. Every once in a while, he'd just break out and unproduct, un unbelievable power surges. But he was never a great fielder, never a great average hitter, but he had a lot of pop in his bat, so he hung around for a long time. John Denny uh, pitched for the Phillies in 83. He'd win the Cy Young Award for us in 83. Um, this is him, and I'm sure that was his 82 season. He was with a couple of different teams before coming to the uh, Phillies. He'd been around for a while. John Stearns, quality catcher and backup catcher. Dom Bergmeier, same thing as a pitcher. Jerry White, always like Jerry White as a quality, you know, guy who had to pop in his bat, would go up there and give it to you. Mario Soto was a longtime quality starter. Nothing fancy. He might have had 20 games once or twice. Uh, no, hi, but he, he was around for a long time, Mario Soto. And you have your Tony La Russa card. He was with the White Sox, Tony was, early in his managerial career. There he is there, still a Hall of Famer. Top St Tim Stoddard, longtime pitcher. Roy Howe, utility guy. Mike Armstrong, one of those guys who was a middle reliever forever. Dusty Baker, obviously, longtime player for a number of teams and certainly well-known for the Dodger teams of the 70s and early 80s. Joe Necro, Phil's brother, longtime player. Damasco Garcia, if you saw, we just saw the team card of him where he led the league in batting average that year. The, the team in batting average, I should say. John Montefusco, who always remember Chris Berman, who did all those great nicknames in the 80s. We call him the Count. John, the Count of Montefusco. Mickey Rivers, longtime player for a number of different teams. Series with the Rangers. Enos Cabell, always loved Enos Cabell. I thought he was with, who was he with? He was, he was part of the Angels, the Astros teams. Could be, he was part of the Astros teams that faced our Phillies in the playoffs. That's how I remember him. All the guys who were on those Astros teams for, you know, keep, have a imprint in my brain when I think about that. 
think I'm going to stop there today, people. All right. I want to thank you for sticking with me. We'll go on from here tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try, like I said, do about 100 and some cards a day because there's 792 that i got to get through this week. So there you have it today. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll be back tomorrow uh, for however many of you choose to show up that I could probably count on one hand. But this is what I'm doing for this week, people. So thanks for stopping by. I uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.